Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Shark supporters may recall that on January 3, 2021, an associate and I were attacked at a cockfight in Lawrence County, Ohio. There's video documentation of what happened. That's my Ooh. violation, motherfucker. <laughs> Drive! Get out of there! Drive! In my case, I received a head laceration requiring six staples to close, a broken rib, a separated back, and a lot of bruises. In the case of my associate, his vehicle was repeatedly rammed until it was forced off a public road. The vehicle was totaled. The attackers, James Newcomb and Shannon Clark, were eventually charged with multiple felonies and are still awaiting trial. Meanwhile, both are out on bond. When you are bonded out, you are not supposed to commit criminal acts. While this is common sense to most people, James Newcomb apparently didn't get the memo. On July 18, 2021, Newcomb and his wife hosted another illegal cockfight. There have been other cockfights as well since Newcomb was charged, but Shark was at the July 18 event. This video is focused on one deputy in the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office. When Shark informed the Sheriff's Office of the cockfight, Deputy Michael DeLauder was dispatched to the Newcomb property. We know this because we heard the call, and a Shark team saw him headed for the Newcombs. So far, so good. The problem is what happened when Deputy DeLauder got to the cockfight. Here's the official version from the Sheriff's Office. One of your officers went to the location and they said that there wasn't anything going on or was there something going on? Can you clarify that for me, please? There was negative contact. Nobody was home or something. But that's not what happened. We know that DeLauder never left his vehicle. He didn't have to because DeLauder was met by both James and Becky Newcomb at his police vehicle. The three spoke briefly and then DeLauder left. The illegal cockfight was allowed to continue. Deputy DeLauder's claim of no contact is false and he allowed a criminal operation to continue. A few things need to happen now. A brief investigation will expose that there was indeed a cockfight. James Newcomb should have his bond immediately revoked and he should be jailed while he awaits trial. Becky Newcomb should be appropriately charged. And then there's the matter of Deputy Michael DeLauder. We've said from the beginning of our cockfight investigations that the police are the issue. Cockfighting is illegal across the United States. Anywhere the police are doing their job, there are few, if any, cockfights. Anywhere there are regular cockfights, especially like at the Newcomb property, that have gone on for years, the police know. And they're either just turning a blind eye, or they're part of the criminal operation. The question in Lawrence County, at this point, is whether the sheriff's office just turns a blind eye, or is it part of the criminal operation? You can help us find the answer to that question by contacting the Lawrence County Prosecutor's Office and requesting an immediate, comprehensive investigation. Contact information for the prosecutors in the description section of this video. It would be best if the prosecutor would bump this up to the state or federal level to get to the bottom of things. I'm fairly confident that if someone of authority confronts Deputy DeLauder about what really happened at the Newcomb's property, he'll fess up. If the authorities question the Newcomb's, they will either fess up or they will increase their legal woes. It's time to clean house in Lawrence County, Ohio. Thank you for caring about the animals and for any assistance you can give in helping us to find justice. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. If you'd like to support shark directly and gain access to exclusive content, please consider sponsoring us on Patreon.